Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. And in this video, we're going to show you how you can start adding new modules and new functionality to your Angular site using Bower. Now, something like Bower is a good idea to have in your project because it allows you to use dependencies and allows you to bring those dependencies in based on a particular file that lets you know which modules and which versions you're interested in using your project. That way, anybody who's downloading your code doesn't have to download all those dependencies with your code, and then they can go and grab them off of something like Bower's database. It also makes it really nice and easy to keep all of your dependencies in one spot. So let's check it out by adding UI router using Bower. So the reason we're going to be continuing from this point out with Bower is because we're going to be needing to add a lot of different modules here and there to add different functionality into our project. And using like something Bower just makes it a lot easier to go and grab everything. However, if you're not interested in using Bower, it should be no problem. You can always go to those GitHub repos, download the JavaScript file, and link it to just the same as if you weren't using Bower. Bower really doesn't add anything other than a convenience. So if you're not interested in Bower, uh, go ahead and just uh, don't use it, and you can download these scripts and add them. Uh, it should be the exact same. Now, to uh, use Bower, we first need to have Node.js. So if you don't have Node installed, please head to nodejs.org and download the installer for your specific system there. And that will give you access to the npm command. Now, what we want to do is make sure we have Bower installed. If you don't have Bower installed, you can run npm install hyphen g and then Bower. Now this is going to install it globally. If you see a bunch of errors like this, it's because your local node modules folder doesn't have the permissions that you need to access uh, this folder correctly. So what you can do is type sudo and then uh, the npm install hyphen g bower. It's going to ask you for your password. You can put that in. Uh, in another video, I'll show you how to get around this to change the permissions there. It should be no problem. Uh, however, just typing in sudo npm install shouldn't also be a problem either. So after we go ahead and have Bower installed, what we can do is type Bower init. Now, Bower init is going to ask the name of your project and a whole bunch of questions here. Now, these are questions you don't necessarily have to answer if you don't want to. If you're just checking this out and trying this out, it's not a project you're going to continue with. You can just breeze through these by hitting enter like I'm doing here. Um, it's going to just be... Okay, we just keep hitting enter. Okay. And when it asks you if it looks good, you can just hit Y for yes. Okay, so now what that gives us access to is basically in our code base, we now have a bower.json file. And in here we can add some new versions of different libraries we're interested in using. And it's going to make sure that these libraries are automatically downloaded when you run the bower command. So uh, to grab a specific library like we're interested in doing, we can head back to our command line and in here we can type bower install and we're going to be grabbing the ui router now ui router adds client-side routing to your project uh, and the reason why we're using ui router over angular's router is because the current angular router just isn't nearly as full featured as ui router is and the new angular built router which is supposed to be excellent is not in the code base yet and since i'm keeping these videos sort of release quality only uh until version 1.5 is released that router is is not part of the current version of Angular. So UI router is the best that has to offer and it's the pretty much been the standard for what people have been using for a long time now. So we're gonna type bower install angular hyphen UI hyphen router. Now, if you don't know why you need routing, routing basically allows it so when you change the URL uh, in your application, then the front end of the application is able to respond, give you different templates and things like that without doing a full page reload. It's essentially treating the page changes in your site as a completely front end experience. Okay, so we've now had this installed into our Bower Components folder. So if we head to our project, you'll see we now have this Bower Components and we have Angular UI Router. So let's come to our index.html here. And let's go ahead and link up our UI Router file. 
So to do so, we want to add this after Angular is already loaded, but before our controller is. So we can say script. Okay, we can get rid of this type JavaScript. I mean, obviously you can leave it. However, uh, HTML5 does not require that. And we can say SRC for the source. And then open quotes. And now we're going to want to browse to this directory. Now this directory is in the base of our is in the base of our project. We can say forward slash and then Bower underscore components forward slash. And then we're going to look at Angular hyphen UI hyphen router. Now we can have forward slash. And what we're going to be going into is the release folder. As you can see, you open that up and we have this file here. Type in release forward slash and then angular hyphen UI hyphen router dot min dot JS. So we're going to be using the minified version. Now let's head back to our terminal. I'm going to start a simple Python server just so we can have a web server running Python space uh, hyphen M space simple HTTP server and hit enter. It's going to start up a local server on port 8000. So let's head to our browser and we have a familiar site here. We have our project with our images. Let's go ahead and look at the source here and we can check out to make sure that our Bower components UI router is of course getting loaded. So I've clicked on the script here and you see code, which is good because that means our script is being added to the project. So we've now added a new script to our project, but keep in mind when you're adding any sort of new directives or modules or anything like that to your project, you need to also have it be added in the code here. So to do that, we just need to come to our directory.js, which is where we're defining our app here. And we're going to go ahead and where we added ng animate here in camel case, we're going to be adding UI router. Now we can do that in this array simply by typing comma quotes, and then UI period router. Okay. So with that little effect here, uh, let's come to our project. Let's refresh. I'm going to go inspect this element, check to make sure we have no errors in our JavaScript console and we're all good. So we're now loading UI router into our project and we've installed it using Bower. Now, if we wanted to go ahead and grab any other project, for instance, if you'll notice when we uh, downloaded UI router, it also grabbed Angular because Angular is a dependency of UI router. So you can see it's Angular version 1.4.3. If we come to our uh, document here, you can see we're actually using 1.4.0. Uh, animate.js and stuff like that. We want to keep everything sort of the same version number, but for now, I'm just going to leave it as is. As you can see, we could just be referencing this path here, uh, and then we can go ahead and grab Angular Animate as well. So I'll let you do that on your own time. You can always head to the Angular Animate page to find out what the Bower command for that is. Um, and then it'll just give you a little bit more practice adding some scripts with Bower. So as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tutorials. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video, or hit us up at Twitter or Facebook and Level Up Tutorials. We love to hear from you. In the next video, we're going to show you how you can start to add some simple routing to your website before getting into some more complex routing and really building out a site that, that allows you to change pages just like a standard website and even changes the uh, URL and the history state of your application. So as always, this is Scott. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next one. Bye.